Let's draw jack o' lantern. It's time for another Go Go Mock Rocket Sheep. Hello and welcome to the Jack O' Lantern edition of Go Go Mock Rocket Sheep because it's Halloween and we're drawing jack o' lanterns. So easy, medium, hard mode. Let's go. Easy, easy mode. mode. For easy mode, we are going to be drawing a very simple pumpkin jack o' lantern, and it starts like this. Start with a circle and then add a half circle on the one side and then a half circle on the other side. So we kind of have this cloud looking shape. On the top here, we're going to add little spikies. That would be the uh, kind of vegetation. Then a big uh, vine. We're going to do two lines out like this. Make it a circle with a little curly in there. Uh, that's the that is the actual line. And then we're gonna do little curly uh, spriggans. I don't know what they're actually called. Uh, then just right here, we're gonna add a little line because the top of a pumpkin you take off. Uh, well, actually, maybe maybe we'll leave that line alone. I'm not sure. But we're gonna draw a face, and whatever face you draw, draw it in simple shapes. Uh, so that we can kind of make it uh, 3D after the fact, right? So I'm going to draw a triangle and a triangle and then a basic uh, triangle mouth maybe with a couple teeth. Nice. Okay, so we're going to put a little vanishing point here right in the middle of our pumpkin. And so from this corner, we're going to draw a little line towards that vanishing point. Draw a little line towards that vanishing point. Draw a little line towards that vanishing point. A little line and a little line. Okay, so then we can draw the parallel lines because, of course, these shapes are cut into the pumpkin, right? So we need to make them look... There we have it. There's our easy mode jack-o'-lantern. Uh, I'm going to ink it and color it and it'll look good. I always speed up the digital inking just so that it doesn't take forever to watch. But keep in mind that if you're using real inks, pens and brushes, you're going to want to ink slowly to keep the right lines. There's my easy mode jack-o'-lantern. Pretty cute. Medium, medium mode. mode. Okay, for medium mode, I thought it might be fun to draw a cute little pumpkin man from uh, my favorite video game uh, Final Fantasy or actually I guess it's kind of a monster that appears across like a bunch of different Final Fantasy games but anyway it's kind of fun uh, so you start with a circle of course and then we're actually going to draw a, another little circle underneath here just like that and the first circle on top here is going to be the pumpkin so we'll do exactly what we did in in uh, medium mode there, or easy mode, where we just turn it into a pumpkin by adding these little bumps. There we go. And then on the top, add a little tuft of green with a stem that goes like that. Nice. Then we're gonna actually make the segments a little more obvious. And this time we'll do four instead of three segments. We're going to add a big circle and a big circle and then a big mouth. That kind of goes like that. Nice. We're going to make them 3D. Right? So that you can tell that they're cut in. But then what we're going to do, instead of lighting it up, draw those as black and we'll color them in later. I just want to make them clear for now. Okay. Then, the body, uh, the feet are down here. Rip, rip. Rip, rip, like that. The body comes like this. Like a little teardrop that takes up the whole circle. And then the legs come out like this and then the arms uh, are kind of like wavy 
And then you add. So when you, sometimes when you're drawing cartoony hands, start with this, and then you add the thumb, you got a little mitten, and add fingers like that. So that's what we're going to do here. We've got these little guys here. A lot of thumb up. And then one, two, three, four. Thumb up. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the shirt of this here monster is actually one of those like poofy pirate shirts. So add a little sort of poofy uh, shoulders. And then a little band on here. And, and the fabric comes like this. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then the shirt goes over the body like this, and then come up like this, and attaches here, and then the pants uh, kind of go like this. Grip, grip, there's the kind of fly in the pockets. And uh, <laughs> hey, not bad, let's give him a cape too, uh, because why not? All right, there is a uh, medium mode pumpkin headed monster. The best part about drawing monsters, by the way, is you can draw them however you want. And people are like, is that how it's supposed to look? And you're like, yes, because it's a monster. So even if it's like, doesn't look exactly as you wanted it to, uh, how are they gonna know monsters aren't real? You're making it up, right? Something that I think is worth saying about uh, me inking and coloring this is that you can see I'm not even on the screen. That's because I've picked up a phone call, put the phone in my, you know, headphones, and now I'm inking and coloring as I talk on the phone. And that actually results in two things. First, I slow down a lot. Like, I'm a lot more careful with the lines that I'm picking. I'm a lot more intentional with the details that I'm adding. And then when it comes to color, I'm a lot more intentional about adding variety and choosing colors carefully. And that is because for me, inking and coloring is kind of autopilot art. Like, it's really easy for me to do that while I do other things, but sketching, man, I need to focus. All right, there is our medium mode uh, pumpkin head dude. Turned out pretty cool. I, I kind of like it. Hard, Hard mode. mode. my hard mode uh, rip off of Napoleon Bonaparte's painting where I took uh, you know a jack-o-lantern and put it where Napoleon Bonaparte's head is supposed to be I kind of feel like it was my riff on the headless horseman thinking you know headless horseman riding around uh, but wants to pass as being a person with a head so sticks a pumpkin on there and that's kind of the backstory there tons of fun extra, extra credit, credit. All right, for this week's extra credit, what I want you to do is find a famous painting or drawing or something that is pretty like iconic, like that Napoleon picture that I ripped this off of. And I want you to change it in a way where you add something that you think would be cool. So, you know, like how I put a pumpkin in there. I want you to like take something iconic and change it. Make it the way that you want it to be. Art you Art sent you in. Sent in.
Thanks so much to everybody who sent in their art. Uh, it's just so much fun seeing it all. Uh, remember, you can always send me your pictures. GogoMockRocketCheap at gmail.com. That is huh, G-O-G-O-M-A-C-H-R-O-C-K-E-T-S-H-E-E-P at gmail.com. I would love to see your art. Please send it to me. Uh, and we'll see you next time.